a member who is addicted to the pastor, something comes on him. Islamic network, Islamic programming. Lift up your hands. You're going to pray a prayer. I feel very strong. And I want to give this morning. Thank God everywhere is closed. There is a sorcery, an Islamic meeting going on right now. You're going to ask the Lord to send his hook wherever they are. And they're doing it. There are some that are around here right now before I came here. They did their oblation. While I was talking, I saw them. They did their oblation in this place. And while they were watching, they connected this atmosphere here with the heavens. You're going to ask the Lord to scatter every of their network right now. Bibles and stand up. God bless you, sirs. Now listen, there is, a, there is a network of terror. Lift up your hands, lift up your right hand. Please, you can remove those things and close your Bibles and stand up. God bless you, sirs. Now listen, there is a, there is a network of terror. There is something that the Lord is going to destroy here now. And it's a strange altar in the heart of some of us. And it's been programmed and been networked. You are here, and I saw it very clear. You're just planning to break out. You're planning to leave. See you. And right now I saw the spirit of al Uzzah coming with a very long rope, pulling you out. Now lift up your hand wherever ministers of mountain of fire sit there. The second tier of leadership. Wherever you're going to ask the Lord to scatter that network. Now in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Put your hand. You're going to ask the Lord. You're going to ask the Lord. Every sorcery released into the atmosphere. Lord, destroy them by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, no! Listen. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. There are a number of Islamic people that have been sent from Egypt who they came to your prayer city. And in your prayer city, there are strange things going on among the prayer warriors. And the Lord said, when they came, they spoke around the place and they came like prayer men. But they came in order to affect your prayer base. Hey! Most of you have been prayed. Amen. Just lift up the, your right hand and every eye closed now. You're going to call the blood of Jesus. What I'm telling you is serious. There is so much division in the prayer camp. Even though you see the people gather together and they pray together, but it's a different voice that is ascending. Not in one accord. And there are so many, so many issues. Look at what I'm seeing, it's just strange here. Lift up that hand. You're going to ask God. The altar that was raised on high place, which is ascending to her, to affect the prayer base of all of us here. As for in Jesus' name. Oh, oh. Hold the hand of a man of God, a pastor. Hold the hand of the pastor. You're going to pray for him, two by two. Let, let me stop. 
When I begin to talk about Islamic oppression, so many things begin to come up. All over the world it has been. And that's why most time I don't get into it. Hold that hand. Now listen. Listen. A change is coming to your heart. But listen. If you refuse the change, crisis will come. You are an individual. And I'm saying this to you. All the notions and the things you've talked in the secret, today, this afternoon, you will bury them. Listen. <laughs> there are some things you've talked about. It has been taken into the atmosphere. It was programmed while you were sitting down with that man of God and you were talking together. It was carried. And the Islamic bodies are chanting on it right now. You are here? Those matters that does not advance the kingdom, put it now aside. As you're holding that hand, just begin to remove them from your heart. Because if you don't do it, a crisis will come on you, the individual. Because God is truly. Islam cannot continue to advance in the world. This morning while I was praying for Islamic and world movement, the Lord said to me, for the world and the kingdom of Islam is about to collapse. <laughs> but listen, he said, I'm going to come with a wind to cleanse my people. And they shall be of one heart, one soul, and one spirit. No man shall anymore look for his own interests. No man shall listen to the outside voices. For we shall be led as sons of Isiaka. Pray for him. Pray for that person. Any connection that has to do with this man of God. Almighty Father, whatever has been programmed in the moon, last night, last night, last night, last night, right now, I command you, be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Every issue, every issue in the life of this man of God, every issue that I see standing in his mind, is his name. Amen. Now finally, before we continue, we are going to pray the last prayer. And that last prayer is that, in Surah to al nasi Now listen, there is a Surah which I am not going to quote. When you quote, oh, it won't work now because there is the blood of the Lamb. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But you see, what I'm talking to you here, I am talking about a power, a power that I can come here and I've done it to great men. So that's what I'm telling you. You look at somebody and as you look at the person, you turn the person's head. Do you see the person is a tongue talker fire? You see, there's a way Islamic powers quench the fires of people. Very easy. You may hear that one in some of the tapes you may lay hold on. Great men. I remember in those days when I was in, when in the deeper life. How, when I was there in Medjugorje, deeper life was newly. How we were sending and releasing in the atmosphere. How do you know the deeper life at that time? As strong as anything. But when you climb the high place and then you put the horn and you call, you call, you call, you call. When you recite over the church where you are, thank God at the prayer level. But you see, gradually, 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 it was like water going in small, small. You see, it's like a rat biting you. Pull back, come back, bite you. Pull back. Come back. Bite you. Pull back. That's what Islam does. So you remind him about other things. But the spirit is breaking. And that was how they were able to penetrate the deeper life. You're going to pray. Any of their enchantment to release into the atmosphere. 
which now this thing, which every one of us who have inhaled it. I was telling some of the pastors a few days ago who came from other nations in jobs, and I was telling them, I said, you see one problem with us, some of time intercessors and deliverance minister, we deal with some demons. But we don't know. Some of the time we feel that the person that is already possessed, initiated and controlled, he is just the person with the problem. You don't know that the spirit he carries contaminates the air. When you inhale the air, you are inhaling the disease. Now you think, now let me just give you this simply. Anthrax. If you read my book, The Queen of Heaven, Volume 2, which the devil is me, Volume 2 and Volume 3, which I wrote, and that was last year, and I wrote about the Islamic oppressions and terror that is going to hit America, is going to hit Jaws, and is going to hit other places. The church has been so cool about it. Americans have been so Islam left on the red them. The Bible says, the born woman and her child cast them out. Now, I said in that place, that you see, the problem with believers is they don't know. Like the case of anthrax. Anthrax is not a strange thing. Anthrax is one of the instruments of the Queen of Heaven. Biological weapon. It's there. It's an Islamic law. If I want to contaminate Lagos, Lagos is on a time bomb. Right now. Lagos. Lagos is a target in the Islamic world. And I just want to open your ears. Now when you inhale the air, it contaminates your system. And when your systems are contaminated, it affects your blood. When it affects your blood, it affects your heart. When it affects your heart, it goes into your bone marrow. The more your bone marrow produces blood, the fresher the blood, the more the blood is being contaminated. You're going to pray and ask God. Every Islamic enchantment that has been released into the air, that has polluted my system, all the blood of Jesus, lost every impurity out of my life. In Jesus' name, let's lift up our hands and we're going to shout the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Now, do you, have you seen some things that have ever happened in the church? That uh, people are dragging pastors on the pulpit. Have you had it before? Have you had it? Have you seen a great church, a very great, great church, where within the leadership, within the leadership, now listen, if you don't hear, just keep quiet. You don't shout it. Within the leadership, have you seen a case where the leadership will be sitting down and they'll be talking? They'll be talking, but suddenly the atmosphere will change, and the atmosphere will begin to go contrary to the advancement of the kingdom. Each meeting that has been organized. At 12 midnight, which we know that demons go out that period, isn't it? But you see, that of Islam is not just going out in the midnight. At 3 o'clock, this is 12 now, at this point, now, whichever, wherever an Islamic occultist is right now, they are chanting. 12, 3, 6, 9, and they carry it on a 24 hour base. So they can come here. <laughs> and you will see them as ministers of mountain of fire. They have credibility. Their profile is very high. Very people that very good people that profess faith. But they are sent. Then there is one thing in those days we use, which is the world gago. World gago. Most barren women, you control them by that. By world gago. When world gago comes, he sits around. Then Arjun follows. Now Arjun, when he comes, and enters the person and takes over the person. 
That's why the person can stand in Surulere. But here, Algin is here. 